Shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah. Double honor to the apostles of GMS. This is Amnala Allah coming at you with the video. And um, I was thinking about the RFID chip, which um, we know the RFID chip stands for Radio Frequency Identification or Radio Frequency Identification Device. And um, as we also as we also know, as most of Israel don't know, because a lot of people out there not teaching it, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast found in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, and Revelation, the 14th chapter. All right, that is the mark of the beast. And with that being said. As the um, apostle has coined 2019, the year of the Karagma. Okay? Now, when you look up information about the RFID chip, you, it would eventually lead you to something called um, transhumanism. Which transhumanism is basically about fusing the biology of human beings... Which biology, that's a, that stands for, um, biology is the study of living organisms. So, basically, what it's about is, transhumanism, it's about fusing the biology of human beings with technology. That's the reason why you have a lot of television shows and a lot of movies coming out. And they always have to bring in a character in these movies that's like part human, part machine, or part human, part machine. Turn right onto Manhattan a, Avenue. Part human, part machine, which is known as a, like, like a cyborg. As a matter of fact, they made a movie not too long ago, and the movie was... Um, Continue was the, on Manhattan the, uh, Avenue for one mile. It was the Justice League. It was the Justice League movie. Now the original Justice League, I can't remember everybody, but I know Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, The Flash. Those are the original members of the Justice League. They recently made, not recently, maybe it was probably was a year or two ago, I'm not sure. Maybe three, probably two years ago. Cause I didn't see the movie, but I remember seeing the, um, the trailer. And in the movie, they had a character in it known as Cyborg. Now, Cyborg was not a part of the original Justice League. My point being is, why would you make a Justice League movie and have a character in the movie that's, that wasn't an original member? What's the purpose of that? What purpose does that, does that serve? It's all about promoting the idea of transhumanism. Basically, what Esau is trying to do, which do is, which Esau is a so-called white man, according to the Bible. What Esau is trying to do is, Esau is trying to inculcate, which inculcate means to place impressions on the mind through constant repetition. Esau is trying to inculcate or trying to place impressions on the mind through constant repetition. Repetition is like when you do something continuously. Like if you're working out, you're doing five reps, one set, ten reps, one set. He's trying to inculcate the masses with um, transhumanist ideas, with transhumanist visuals. So if they make a movie or a television show or some type of advertisement and they show a human being in some way, shape, or form being fused with technology, that inculcates the minds of the people into um into accepting it. They become desensitized. D or D E is a suffix. Oh, I'm sorry, a prefix, excuse me. It's a prefix meaning from. Sensitive means easily affected. Like if you have a cut on your hand, at the slightest touch, you move your hand back. It's like a, it's like an instinct. Why? Because the cut is easily affected by the slightest touch. So desensitive or desensitized, excuse me, means to be from, means from easily affected. In other words, you've seen it so much to the point when it doesn't even affect you no more. It does nothing to you. But that's what they're doing. They're ingraining inside the minds of the people these transhumanist ideas so much to the point they begin to accept it. All right, it's brainwashing. Now, with this RFID chip, which stands for Radio Frequency Identification Device, 
all your information is going to be on this trip. You're basically going to be, to a degree, you're going to be part human, part machine, to a lesser degree. Because you're going to actually have a machine in you. You're going to actually have a man-made device in you, allowing you to go, um, allowing you to survive throughout this, throughout this society. You know, think about it. These um, RFID chips are going to have your birth date on it, your social security number, your birth certificate. Everything about you is going to be on this chip. It's going to be like... In 600 feet, turn right onto Meeker Avenue. It's going to be like um having your, your New York State ID, if you live in New York or Virginia State ID, whatever state you live in. Turn right onto Meeker Avenue. It's going to be like having your New York State ID, your social security card, your birth certificate, <laughs> your, de your, your dental rec records, your hospital records. It's going to be like having all of that rolled up in one. It's going to be having all of that rolled up in one. And without that, you're not going to be able to survive in this society. That's why when you read the scripture, it says what? You won't be able to buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Meaning, in 800 feet, turn left onto McGinnis Boulevard South. Meaning, except for the purpose, the, for the individuals, for the people that have the mark, you won't be able to survive in the society. You won't be able to buy or sell. Guess what? You won't be able to pay your rent. You won't be able to pay your bills. You won't be able to buy food. You won't be able to do anything. And Esau is going to make it so. Come on, man. And Esau is going to make it so. Because what happened is, so much dollars is going to be, going to be Turn pumped. Turn left onto McGinnis Boulevard South. So much dollars is going to be pumped in the society that it's going to cause hyperinflation. And the more dollars that are in circulation, the lower the value becomes. See, things don't become expensive because the food just goes up. It's because more dollars are in circulation. Being that more dollars are in circulation, the value of the dollar decreases. Therefore, you need more dollars about the same thing you did before. It's like... It's like, um... Let's say... How can I explain? It's like, okay, let's say you're in a society where you buy things with gold coins, right? But... If there's a mass, if there's a large amount of these particular gold coins, then the gold coins aren't really that valuable. The value goes down. Since the value is not really worth much, you're going to need more of those particular coins to buy the same thing. That's basically how it is with the dollar. Because if the gold coins was currency and it was so easy to find, the value of it wouldn't really be that high. But that's basically what this society is coming to now. Okay. That's basically what the society is coming to now. And a lot of these fools out here are gonna fall prey to it. In GMS, beginning with the apostles, we out here telling these idiots, because that's what they are, these idiots, these fools. We out here telling them that the chip is the mark of the beast. And not to take the chip. Oh man, come on, man. We out here telling them that the chip is the mark of the beast and not to take the chip. But then you got these fools out here. Continue them, on McGinnis Boulevard South for one mile. You got these fools out here telling them the mark of the beast is not the chip. Or the mark of the beast is not the chip. It's a potato chip. Like that 14th Street, like the 14th Street Dairy Queen. <laughs> you know? The 14th Street. Matter of fact, he looked like the he looked like um as a matter of fact, Marvel Comics had a character named Strong Guy. He had like a big upper body. <laughs> he got a big upper body. He, had a, he got a big upper body, little ass legs, and a tiny ass head. Well, guess what? That's 14th Street. What's his name? Bakwash? That's him. That's 14th Street. You know, guy saying that the, 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 the RFID chip is um sleeping with a white woman. What kind of sense do that make? If that's the case, that means King Solomon got the mark of the beast because he had concubines of the nation to eat him. So you're going to say King Solomon had the mark of the beast? You're going to say the wisest man 
of his time. Why well, say of his time? Because King Solomon came back as Yahweh Shah. If you can receive, you tell me the wisest man on earth did the most foolish thing and accepted the chip. Where did they make you people at? Satan, Satan must have Satan must have like a like you know how they say Santa Claus got like a factory and all his elves is making toys. Satan must have like a demonic factory with demons making making um making uh you so called prophets, man. Alright. But that brings me to this. You had something called Well before I get to that, back to the transhumanism thing. People are looking at it as being cool. Oh see look. I can I can get into my car just by moving my hand. Oh look, I can get through that door just by moving my hand. You know what I'm saying? People can be able to do things without having to um literally without having, without having to lift a finger. You know? This is gonna walk past something. This is gonna walk past something that's just gonna open up. Oh, you take this RFID chip and you put it into your baby. Guess what? Your baby will never get will never get lost. As a matter of fact, I did a show years ago. I don't know if it's on GMS Street Shots. Might be on GMS to the point. It was myself and the brother Palau. This is years back. We did a show going to the RFID chip. And um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I brought out the information about how um in hospitals they had they was putting RFID RFID tags on babies. So that their babies wouldn't get stolen. And I believe it was a woman whose baby was stolen at one point in time, and I think the baby was found because of the RFID tag, or either it was because of the RFID tag, it was because of the baby being stolen that that, that, that that particular hospital started putting the tags on the babies. So it was either a baby was stolen at the hospital, and, and because of the RFID tag, the baby was found, or a baby was stolen, so they later chose to put RFID tags on children. And if that was the case, that's all it's set up anyway. I won't be surprised if they start really doing that. Mass kidnappings. Oh my gosh, there's been mass kidnappings across all across the United States within the past 30 days. 17,644, 23,981 children was kidnapped within the past 14 days. You know? Three months have passed and now it's 147,000 962 children um, kidnapped, and the children that was kidnapped within the first months, first month, none of them were found. And then they gonna start pushing that chip more and more and more. I'm telling you, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if they make a losing Isaiah part two. This time it's a Jake baby kidnapped by somebody because, but because of the RFID chip, um, they hunt, they they they, they find a baby, they find a boy. Yeah, the baby got the chip in them, but this person is trying to somehow they're trying to hack the chip. And they call the movie Losing Isaiah Part 2. In 800 two. feet, keep left to continue on Pulaski Bridge. And they call the, the movie Losing Isaiah Part 2. You know? Or they call it, um... Keep left to continue on Pulaski Bridge. Let, or they call it, um... Uh, uh, uh... Salvation is of the chip or something like that. I don't be surprised. I would not be surprised. But that brings me to something called um called um the technological singularity. Now what is the technological singularity you ask? The technological singularity is about man-made intelligence, artificial intelligence. The creation of In a artificial quarter mile, intelligence. Right onto 11th Street. Or rather Artificial intelligence um, increases so much to the point that it triggers a change in human civilization. Take the that's next what, right onto 11th Street, then turn right onto Jackson Avenue. That's what technological singularity is. It's the idea that artificial intelligence is going to trigger a vast change. Turn right onto Jackson Avenue. In society. And that's really what you're coming to. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Skillman Avenue.
it's gonna bring about a, a big change in society. You know? Imagine having to op open the door without doing it with your hand. Imagine being able to pay your rent without having to um get Turn cash. left onto Skillman Avenue. A lot of people a lot of people are going to be delighted at that. Continue on Skillman Avenue for half a mile. Which truth be told, I don't even see what the hell is the big damn bill. If you pay a rain cash, you pay a rain cash. You that goddamn lazy that um that um you wanna give cash to the landlord? You'd rather just say, oh wait, wait, I got I got a chip. The money just come right out the chip and go right into the bank account. And that's another thing. In society, a quarter mile, continue straight to stay on Skillman Avenue. Society has been programming everybody to be lazy. Goddamn microwaves. That's another aspect of it. It's gonna tell you what. The simple believe it every word. They're gonna tell you this chip is gonna be um to paper things, but little do your dumbass know. The chip is really gonna be to track you. Because the chip has a GPS. And they're gonna be able to follow your every move. GPS is already in your phone, man. They listen to your phone conversation as we speak. Guess what? They listen to this, they listen to me right now. The NSA, the National Security Agency. We listen to you now. You know? Esau, Esau, man, Esau, man, so I to tell you, um, he's like a lion. It's something, it's in the Psalms, the 10th chapter. It says, um, he's like a lion. Continue going straight to stay on Skillman Avenue. Seeking who may devour the rest of us. That's Peter, 4th chapter. But, um, there's another scripture that's similar to that in Psalms, the 10th chapter. It's speaks about it like a lion looking for his prey. In Something 800 feet, line. turn left onto Queens Boulevard. But that's Esau. And what does a lion do? A lion stalks his prey. That's what a lion does. A lion stalks Turn stalks left onto Queens Boulevard. And in, in Esau's mind, he's a lion and where to pray. And he's stalking us by keeping his eyes on us. He wants to keep his eyes on you in every single aspect of your life. He wants to get the RFID chips, RFID chip so that he can track you. They want to listen to your phone conversations. They want to look at you through your computer. As a matter of fact, I think they call that pan opticism. Pan meaning all. I believe pan meaning all optic is like your eyes. And ism is belief. A belief in all seeing, like seeing all things. Like a like a like like a mass surveillance system, if you will. Even with that whole selfie craze, I did a show on that a couple years back. The whole selfie craze was all about what? The whole selfie craze was really all about um getting people to take pictures of their face so that your face could be put in a um facial recognition database. That's what this was, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what it was all about. As a matter of fact, you had this actor named Boris Kojo. I forget his wife's name, but him and his wife had a television show. I'm not sh I, 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 I don't think it's still on. In a quarter mile, on. continue straight to stay on Queens Boulevard. I don't think it's still on, but they had a show, the Boris and something show. But on that show, whenever they would have guests, when the celebrities would come out, the celebrities would be holding a selfie stick. Because they want to promote that selfie stick. Because why? Continue straight to stay on Queens Boulevard. The picture that you take of yourself with that selfie stick or with that cellular phone, it goes into a facial recognition database, man. Think about it. People out there that got Facebooks and they got all these uh, Instagrams and Twitters and everything, guess what? They can tag other people in the photos. It's at a point now, like, you may not even have to, t I don't have any of those those um, friends sharing websites or those social media sites. I don't have any of those, but it's at a point now when um, 
they'll automatically tag a person for you. Oh, we know this. Oh, we recognize this person face from your last picture. I mean, think about it. A person's face is in a picture and a name appears under it because somebody tagged your face. And then you can probably look at all different types of other pictures that got the same tag. Same person face. And you people are too damn stupid to know what the hell is going on. You're too damn stupid to know what's going on. Because they keep telling you everything linked with technology is going to be fun. Oh, it's going to be, oh, guess what? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Like, like Tony the Tiger. That's how you people really look at this, man. You, you don't, you guys, you guys are fools. And a lot, and you guys out there that ain't listening to us. When I say us, talking about the, the profits, the real profits of GMS. You guys out there that refuse to hawk into what it is that we say, guess what? You're going to be caught up in that because what's the judgment for the chip? Huh? Continue for one and a half miles. The judgment of the chip is thermonuclear destruction, death. That's the judgment of the chip. That's, that's what you're going to get when you, uh, if you get that, that, uh, the RFID chip. And as a matter of fact, that's the whole time period in which people are going to be getting that chip is known as the hour of temptation. Why is it known as the hour of temptation? Because you're going to be tempted. Think about it. When you can't get food. When you can't get shelter. When you can't pay your rent. When you can't pay your bills. When you can't pay for transportation. When you can't take care of your, of your, your, your children. Your woman. Your family, yourself, you're gonna be tempted to get that chip. And a lot of people are gonna fall prey to that temptation. This is why it's good to say, watch as well as pray. Watch meaning what? Watch the news. And you gotta pray, meaning you got what? You gotta ask. Ask the Most High to build your faith. Because really, faith is the only weapon that we really got. Which faith is in the scripture, but the scripture is known as the armor of the Most High. The scripture is known as the sword, a buckler or shield, armor, the helmet of salvation. I believe it says your feet shod with the gospel of truth. So guess what? Our whole body is covered in armor, with spiritual armor, which is the scriptures. And we gotta have faith in the scriptures. It's like it's like the it's like it's like it's like the greater your faith is, the more impenetrable the more impenetrable the armor the armor is, the more impregnable your defense is. A person who lacks faith, guess what? You missing you missing certain parts of that armor. When you first come into truth, you just don't it's not all covered in armor yet. You might have some chain mail on, you might have a helmet, you might have a sword, but you don't really got a shield. You know? So it's like the more and more you're in this truth, the more and more you begin, your body begins to become, become covered with that spiritual armor, which is these scriptures. And at the end of it all, that's all we really have to maintain our faith, our belief in the scriptures. Okay? Because what else is there to believe in in this world? But you're gonna be here another 10 years? I don't wanna be here another 10 years. Ready to get the hell out of here, man. I've been ready to get the hell out of here the day before I found out about the truth, man. You understand? I wish this place went down yesterday. But you got some guys out there that don't want America to go down. You want America to last forever. Like like um like Keith Sweat first album in 87. You know? He wanted to make it last forever. Make it last. That's them. <laughs> He sweat is like In a quarter mile, slight right onto East 60th Street. Signs for 60th Street West. The key sweat is like the, the make the make it last practice. Make it last. That's what I call them. I call them the make it last profits. The make it last forever profit. That's what we got. These guys don't teach you about nothing. You got guys making videos, you GMS you talk about destruction too much. What the hell you mean we talk about destruction too much? What, what are we supposed to do? Now don't get me wrong. We're talking about a myriad of different topics. I mean, a countless amount of different topics. In 1,000 feet, turn right after Dylan's candy bar on the right onto 3rd Avenue. When you look up um, that word, um, like, I believe in, in the book of Revelation, when it speaks about, um, like, in the angels, and it says thousands of thousands or, or innumerable, 
when you look it up, I believe the Greek word is myriad, M-Y-R-I-A-D, which means like a countless amount. You, think, you speak about a, a myriad of different topics, man. Nobody else do that like us. And that's me saying that to brag, we're just being honest. Nobody, no, nobody does it like GMS. And that's because why? Not because of our, of our own will, but because the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Most High has bestowed upon us. So with that, I'm going to close. I'm going to say, oh, praise the Habashim al-Shah, the blinds to the Apostle GMS. Shalom.